It all comes down to this. The Nationals just win, baby. How many All-Americans this time? Hey, anyone up for an Oscar? Or make that a national championship? Is the men's basketball team up for its showdown at Northeast? The 19th ranked ladies declare martial law on Marshalltown. Hey, can the Lady Titans stop that unbeaten juggernaut known as Harlan? Rivalry game at AL, that and much, much more. Hi, I'm Oscar Ramirez, a member of the Iowa Western Wrestling Team. The Bluff Sports Zone starts right now. Hello, I'm JJ Davis and welcome to this latest edition of the Bluff Sports Zone. Now get this, just before the Iowa Western Wrestling Team hits the mats for the national tournament, 165 pounder Tim Hester suffers a concussion. Now Tim's okay, but is done for the tournament. I mean talk about heartbreak, but nonetheless the rest of the seven first time Reavers, it's showtime. Ready to rock at the Jacobson Exhibition Center. Now the Reavers wrestle six guys in the first round. A couple of Dillons. Dylan Cox from Iowa Western against Dylan McCaleb from Northeast Oklahoma. Now Cox gets untangled, gets two to grab a 4-1 lead, but second period, McCaleb just cranks it up. It's not how you start, but how you finish. 149, unranked Oscar Ramirez from Iowa Western focused against Thomas McLaughlin from Nassau Community College. 2-2 match in the third, Ramirez kicking and screaming, gets the winning point. The freshman Reaver wins a close one, 3-2. Very close. I just gotta be more aggressive. He just kept, he knew, what he, they watched film on me all week. They knew what I was gonna do. So they were just waiting for me to take a shot and just keep backing up the whole time. Good times for unranked Lucas Leas at 157. Has number 10 DeAndre Johnson, Spartanburg Methodist, on his back. Leas takes it. He got that throw at the beginning. Kind of tried setting the pace, but I kept going. Broke his will, big win. 174, big win for 12th ranked Matt Walker in the second period. There you go, good job. It's a new move, Coach Watts was showing me. And one day I was wearing a Thundercat shirt. He asked me what move you want to call it. And he said, uh, I said, I didn't know. He said Thundercat. That's what we'll call it. Call it another win at 184. Number seven, Jalen Flanders with the single leg. And then the trip. Flanders takes down Warren Elke from Springfield Tech, nine to four. He was a bit stronger guy. So uh, going into later in the match, I let him uh, get a little bit more steam. I wore myself out in the beginning. I need to finish a little bit smoother because I know I can in the second match. Iowa Western's last first round match. Unranked Reaver Luke Nones escapes number 10 Jamar Henry from Mercyhurst. Nones holds him off and pulls off the upset three to two. I just wanted to go out there, wrestle, make sure I get the win, secure the win. I had to wrestle smart after that first period and I wrote him out. I knew I had to wrestle calm and safe and I just got the win, I secured it. So Iowa Western wins five of six first round matches. And for Tim Hester, with the guy they call Bama, what might have been? Regional champ Clay Stein, a first round bye. The sixth ranked Reaver gets his first taste of nationals in round two. And Stein doesn't waste any time. Just sticks a kid from Harper College in the first period. It's huge, you know, it, it sets the whole momentum for the rest of my tournament, so started off good, and now I just gotta keep the ball rolling. Keeping it going at 149, the Reavers' Oscar Ramirez slips in with the Firemans against Chris Root from Muskegon. It's the only takedown of the match. Ramirez outguts Root, two to one. I'm happy, yeah, very happy. Do it for Coach Watt, because he recruited me. I think that, man for everything I have right now. Little different at 157. First round winner Lucas Lias gets pinned by second right Mejias from Nyack, just 30 seconds. 174, Iowa Western gets it right back. Matt Walker smothers Desmond McGinley from Lincoln College. The beginning, it was uh, back and forth, but 
Once I was at bottom and I got that turn, I knew things were going my way and I just had to keep going. Keeping it going at 184, Jalen Flanders grabs the ankle of Adrian Lyons Lopez of Southwestern Oregon. The seventh ranked Reaver wins by majority decision. Jalen sitting pretty in the quarterfinals. I wrestled good. He was a kid that, um, he's a kid that is really heavy on the head. I mean, you hate wrestling those kids because you know you're going to get real tired. But um, I was getting to my shots, I was moving good. So was Luke Nones. Iowa Western's unranked 197 pounder scores big against Robert Cuomo from Sullivan County. Cool hand Luke wins by tech fall, 20 to zip. After the first period, I, that takedown, I got. I, I like getting the takedown in the first period. If I get it, 90% of the time I win the match. And I just knew I was going to get it. My dad, I think they stuck to the game plan of the matches that we came up with in the film that the coaches reviewed during the week and last week. So we just got to continue to execute those plans after we convey them to them for, for the next round. What a round for Iowa Western. Five out of six Reavers advance to the quarterfinals. Now, two wrestlers from Iowa Western are done. 125 pounder Dylan Cox is eliminated in the first round consolations. Dylan goes 0-2. And Lucas Leas, that big first round winner, knocked off in the second round consolations. Lucas finishes 1-2, but still, Five guys left and in the quarterfinals. These five guys, just one win away from becoming All-Americans. First up at 133, sixth ranked Clay Stein looks for the takedown against number four, Jake Nicholson from Jamestown. Nicholson with the cradle and later with the pin. Grudge match at 149, the Reavers Oscar Ramirez scrambling for two against Jeff McCormick from Northwest Wyoming. Now the wild card gets the takedown. Ramirez stuns the second ranked McCormick, two to one. That's what I'm talking about right there, hard work. I wanted it more than he did. I lost by one, by one at home, it was my revenge. Pretty quick match at 174. Top ranked Jacoby Smith in Northeast Oklahoma sticks Matt Walker in the first period. 184, Iowa Western's Jalen Flanders into overtime with DeAndre Jones from Labette. Flanders gives away a point for stalling, and then Jones gets away to win a heart stopper, three to two. And finally, at 197, the Reavers Luke Nones just gets pinned by a kid from Clackamas. Iowa Western sends five to the quarterfinals, only one comes out a winner. Here we go, 133, crazy match. The Reavers Clay Stein, a quick two. Bradrick right away from Highland, a quick one. Back and forth they go. The Iowa Western freshman, two more. Clay Stein's an All-American, gutting it out, nine to seven. I just didn't open up. I wasn't going to my attacks. I mean, got the W, that's all that matters. All the Reavers, Matt Walker at 174. Two for the takedown. Walker would stick Jacob Meehan from Iowa Central. Make that now three All-Americans. Being All-American means that I finish off my season, or finish it off my season in a good spot. I still got more to go, but I'm in the right spot. 184, Iowa Western's Jalen Flanders in the right spot against Brock Warren from Northeast Oklahoma. Takedown on the edge of the mat. How about two more? Jalen Flanders is an All-American, winning a 9-8 heart stopper. It means a lot. Last year, you know, I took kind of a hiatus, you know. I should have been in the lineup, but had a lot of mental things going on. But um, it feels really good to come this year in All-American after everything I've been through. And finally at 197, Luke known an easy two against Aspen Naylor from Western Wyoming. Luke gets a hug from Dad after winning by majority decision. Pretty exciting. Not I got it, but I didn't want. I didn't get the way I wanted it, but I still got it done. That's what I'm proud about. And I'm proud of my teammates too for getting it done. That's kind of been the story of the entire season. We've had a great deal of character. We recruit character kids, and I think character prevailed and showed when they came back in the blood round there, and uh, and they came through. I mean, we went five for five. The five guys who are in the quarterfinals are all five All-Americans. The Reavers, five in the first three years of the program. And now, the Fab Five in year four. What a day, what a night to remember for Iowa Western. What a night to remember for either the Lynx or the Titans. Take a guess. But up next, does anyone go all the way for the Reavers? 
when we come back. At Council Plus Savings Bank, you still get personalized customer service. We have identity safe checking with LifeLock, identity theft protection. You get personal mortgage lending to fit your needs now and in the future. You get business banking with the latest technology because saving you time saves you money. At Council of Savings Bank, you get people who answer when you call and local employees who are actively involved in our community. Council of Savings Bank, hometown banking the way it used to be. This portion of the Bluff Sports Zone brought to you by Cutler O'Neill, Meyer Woodring, family owned funeral home, serving Council Bluffs in Southwest Iowa for over 100 years. I can't stress it enough. The Reavers, Oscar Ramirez, a wild card entry at 149 for Iowa Western. And now the unranked freshman, just one win away from the finals. And still yet another mountain to climb. Try the number five kid in the country. Unranked in wild card entry, Oscar Ramirez from Iowa Western steps into the ring at 149 with fifth ranked Abbas Tamaradzic from Springfield Tech. Second period scoreless. Ramirez with the single leg and then the trip. 2 0 Iowa Western. Now Tamaradzic twice gets up and twice gets away. 2 2 match headed into the third. But the freshman Ramirez on the bottom gets to his feet and escapes with the winning point. The Reavers wildcard Oscar Ramirez off to the finals with a stunning 3-2 victory. <laughs> Can't believe it. Worked, worked, my, worked my butt off for this, this time the whole year. I just got one more match to go to be a national champ. The first in this young program short history, Oscar Ramirez becomes the first Reaver to make it to the championship round. How you like them apples? Now, what about the rest of the Reavers? Now, of course, they'll be on the podium as well. It's just a question of how high up. Four Iowa Western All-Americans hit the mats in the fourth round consolations. 133, the Reavers play Stein in trouble against Zachary Cooper from Muskegon. And it's over in just over a minute. Stein gets stuck. Different deal at 174, Matt Walker of Iowa Western. Pins Anthony Smith from Darton in the first period. Now just the opposite at 184 for the Reavers' Jalen Flanders. No! Giovanni Santiago from Nassau Community College with a monster move. Jalen pinned in less than two minutes. And finally at 197, Luke Nones from Iowa Western with the shot. But Wesley Dodd from Itasca CC comes around with a 7-1 win. The Reavers walk away one for four in the fourth round consolations. First up at 133, the Reavers' Clay Stein wrestles with Josh Ailey from Northeast Oklahoma. Not quite. Klein finishes in eighth place. Iowa Western's Matt Walker pinning for third at 174. Walker just racking up the points against Nick Moore from Gloucester County College. The sophomore wins it by majority decision. And mom is there to see it. It means a lot. I mean, past two years, I've seen my mom for about a month and a half in total, and having her here watching me, my last, uh, my last couple matches here at Iowa Western, it's amazing. 184, the Reavers' Jalen Flanders with the trip. Flanders takes seventh place with a 9-4 win over Chance Shea from Harper College. It feels good to um, come in here and finish my last match with a win. You know, I didn't uh, get a high, as high on the podium as I wanted to, but you know, it feels, still feels good to be there. And I can at least leave here knowing that I gave it everything I got. Iowa Western's Luke Nones on the bottom gives it everything he's got at 197. Craig Williams from Northland College with other ideas. Luke finishes in eighth place. So that leaves one guy left, one story untold. And it's already been a wonderful journey for 149-pounder Oscar Ramirez. And now, 
the final chapter. He walks into uncharted territory for Iowa Western. The Reavers 149-pounder Oscar Ramirez on top against top-ranked Nosomi Pozo from North Iowa area. After a scoreless first period, Pozo escapes. And then later in the second, on the edge of the mat, Pozo gets two more. Late third period, Ramirez is down 3-1 with less than 30 seconds to go. I knew it was going to be a tough match. I wrestled him earlier in the season and beat me by a lot more than what that was. So I knew I couldn't make any mistakes. It was a close match, 15 seconds left, and I knew I had to try some. So I tried to get a five point move. It didn't work. I put it in my back. He couldn't get his wrestling going. And I knew that was the plan. Get him frustrated and then start working myself. I got in, I got in a few deep shots. And it just wasn't enough. It's not bad for a freshman. Oscar, go! It's another stepping stone for what we've been doing over the past few years. And, uh, you know, team wise, we're further along than we were a year ago. And now we, had, we got our finalists and we had four other All Americans, and things are going in the right direction. Oscar Ramirez goes where no Iowa Western wrestler has gone before the finals of the national tournament. The future looks bright for Oscar and the Reavers. It does for the Reavers as well. Eight guys go to the Nationals, five come back All-Americans, and one makes the finals. As a team, Iowa Western its best finish in its short four-year history. The Reavers tie for eighth. So congrats to head coach Josh Watson, the guys, and it's only gonna get better. Do or die for the Iowa Western men's basketball team, but what about the Lynx and Titans? After the break. For more than a quarter century, thousands of Southwest Iowa athletes have relied on this team, Jenny Ed Sportsmen. Their sole focus is to prevent, diagnose, and treat your sports injury. They even partner with the surgeons at Ortho West, ensuring you get your own exclusive roadmap back to action. Methodist Jenny Ed Sportsmen invites all Southwest Iowa athletes to its free walk-in clinic, open every Saturday morning, August through October. Jenny Ed Sportsmen. Ever wonder what makes us, the Smurfs, so happy? The forest, of course. This is where we, along with the beautiful forest creatures, make our home with beautiful plant life, clean water, and endless adventures. It's a place to celebrate. So discover the forest with your family today. Visit discovertheforest.org to find the forest near you. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. The Lewis Central girls one step away from another trip to state. Just one problem. And it's a very big problem, as in the undefeated and number one team in the state problem. You guessed it, Harlan. Here's IDUB TV student Frank Prazen. Harlan and Lewis Central score off in a regional class 4A final. The Cyclones step up the game with the 8-0 run. Ella Clower sticks with the three. The Titans throw going offense. Just shaping with the block. Top ranked team in the state finding the range. Jordan Moyers nails the tray. Harlan knocks down eight threes on the night. Lewis Central finally gets on the board in the second quarter. Maddie Polson on the wing hits the three. Harlan moves on a 7 0 run. Taylor Wagner at the top of the key. Three of her 14 points, 15 3 clones. Lewis Central head coach Derek Archer sees his team score just 10 points in the first half. Alyssa Pomeranke in the corner with the bucket. Titans throw by 10. Lewis Central runs in the break, down 28-10. Second half, all clones. Harlan sticks it to Lewis Central for the third time 
this year. Let this game uh, define what kind of season we had. And I, I told them, I, you know, there was a lot of people that, that, were, that were wondering how we were going to be this year. And I think we surprised a lot of people. I think we came out and we ended up being a lot better of a team than, uh, than what a lot of people thought going in. Lewis Central graduates, two seniors, their four-year record. Listen to this, 74-19 for the Bluff Sports Zone. I'm Frank Fraser. Thanks, Frank. And now to the guys. 4A Substate Semifinal. Forget about that. I'm talking LC at AL. Here's IW TV student Tyler Derrickson. Abe Lincoln and Lewis Central face off in the district finals. First quarter, the Titans Mitch Moran with the jump, stop, and pop. LC ties it at six. Later in the first, the Lynx Trevante Jones jets past his defender for the bucket. Home team up three after one. Second quarter, Lewis Central's Jachai Baker strikes back as he corrals his own rebound and puts it back in. The visitors trail 26-19. Next possession, AL's Kyle Crow finds a seam up the middle for the easy layup. 28-21, the Lynx with the lead at half. And the fans are loving it. Second half, Tony Bonner and company come out of the break, firing on all cylinders. Bonner finishes with a game-high 28 points. Abe Lincoln leads 50-34 after three. Fourth quarter, LC's Kyler Nixon knocks down the three, but Kyle Crow ices the game with his own tray. The Lynx will win it big, 75-57. The thing I really liked tonight was our toughness. I thought, you know, LC's a big, strong, physical team. Uh, you know, I thought we did a good job keeping them off the boards for the most part. They still got some, but uh, I thought we just battled. Abraham Lincoln will play Sioux City North in the sub-state final. The Lynx looking to get back to state for the first time in 15 years. For the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm Tyler Derrickson. Thanks, Tyler. Up next, our play of the week. Another gimme. But first, the Iowa Western women on the march to the Nationals on the other side. Heart disease affects one in every three women in America, but you can fight back. There's no time to lose. Mothers, sisters, daughters, families, and friends, it's time to shout louder, stand stronger, and demand change. Let's go! To the Batmobile! Dang it. To the invisible jet! Dang it. Together, we can put an end to heart disease. It's time to go red for women. I could use your help. Yeah! Learn more from the American Heart Association at www.goredforwomen.org. My life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself, but I didn't because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org. Your future is here at CBTV. You're in the game. You take the shots. It's your story. The Media Studies Program at Iowa Western. Real Reality TV, starring you. For more information, go to iwcc.edu. It's been a crazy year for the Iowa Western men's basketball team. I mean, for starters, injuries have plagued the starters. Now, head coach Jim Morris still manages to win at least 20 games, so what else is new? But up next, the playoffs. And can the crippled Reavers find a way, or is it just simply too much? Here's IDUB TV student Jake Wright. Iowa Western travels to Norfolk, Nebraska for the Region 11 semifinal. First half, Chimo Noyaki throws it down. The Hawks are on the board. Reavers go on a 6-0 run, sparked by this monster putback from Teak Bowl. 11-5 visitors. DJ Evans, boom shaka locker. Iowa Western goes into the break, down 46-43. 
second half. The Jack Show, Donovan Jackson with a beautiful reverse layup, under 15 minutes left. Jackson again, rocking the suburbs. The freshman cuts it to seven, 58-51, Hawk. Just a little bit later, LJ Westbrook converts the and one. Northeast up by nine. The Reavers still fighting. Deshaun Munson, two of his 30 points. Still 74-66, home team. The Hawks too much. Northeast flies past Iowa Western, 89-75. We just gotta reload and we gotta get more guys. We gotta plug in holes. And you know, got to get more guards in, and you know, just got a little shorthand at the end. And, and but we'll get out recruiting and get some guys in, get ready for next year. The shorthanded Reavers finished another 21 season at 22 and 8. For the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm Jake Wright. Iowa Western hosting Marshalltown in the Region 11 semifinals. Gian Geraldo lays one in to contribute to the Tigers' 8 0 run to start the game. Janae Hegg from the art. The Reavers battling back to command the lead, 23-15. Sliding past the competition, Jasmine Trimboli with the basket. Iowa Western takes a 38-28 lead into the break. <laughs> Moving into the second half, Fani Chucharash rolls one. Reavers up 13, 43-30. Chucharash leading three in double figures with a game high 22 points. Home team wins it 71 60. I think the team played really well. We just had to find ourselves. And um, the second half was amazing how we played, I think. This group of girls have been waiting for this for a long time for the playoffs. I mean, they've been working since, uh, really, uh, since August for this time. And, and, and it's a group that's very determined to try to get to the national tournament. Iowa Western then travels to Northeast. The Reavers knock off the Hawks 66-61. IWCC one win away from the national tournament. For the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm Crystal Herco. Thanks, Crystal. And how about them Lady Reavers? Jim Turgeon and Iowa Western just one win away from the national tournament. Well, and now it's time for our play of the week. Bought to you by Buena Vista University. The Reavers wrestling team parades in with five All-Americans. Clay Stein at 133. Finalist Oscar Ramirez at 149. Third place finisher Matt Walker at 174. Jalen Flanders at 184. And Luke Knowns at 197. Iowa Western wrestles with five All-Americans. The Fab Five with our Play of the Week. The Play of the Week is brought to you by Buena Vista University. Summer classes begin May 4th and June 29th. Call 712-749-1990 to register today. So the hits just keep on coming. And remember, there's more to come as the second season continues. Now, as always, remember to keep it here for more news and information in your community by tuning in to the Council Bluffs News with Marie Zeitner. And so, for this latest edition of the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm J.J. Davis, and as always... I'll see you around. <laughs>